So what this lateral ulnar glide mobilisation with movement consists of is I've got my patient still in this, uh, Josh is lying here with his elbow in extension pronation, but I'm going to put the shoulder, so his humerus, in a little bit more external rotation. And the idea being that I can now come in on the medial side, right up on the proximal ulna, medial side of the proximal ulna, so that I can apply a lateral glide to the ulna. Okay, so that's where my mobilizing hand is gonna go. So you can see here, so I still want Josh in pronation, but depending on how much pronation people have, sometimes they're gonna be a little bit propped up because I've externally rotated the shoulder, yeah? So wherever that pronation sits, let the patient just relax in that position. You're okay there? My stabilizing hand is then on the opposite side. So my stabilizing hand is on the distal humerus, all right? And I'm gonna come in laterally. And what you can see is that my thumbs run parallel to each other. One is above the joint line and one is below the joint line. So my stabilizing hand on the humerus stays still. My mobilizing hand is on the inside, on the ulna side, and it's going to direct the glide laterally. Now I can angle this slightly differently depending on the patient's response or the change in pain. I can make it a little bit posterior lateral, a little bit anterior lateral, or just straight lateral. But the key, in, the key ingredients here is that I, I'm going to apply the glide and sustain it. You have to sustain it through the whole movement. And now I'm gonna ask Josh to repeat that grip and stop when you first get to pain. And if it's effective, his pain-free grip force should increase. And not just by one or two kilos, but by a significant amount. 